Hi, and welcome to this video where I will talk a bit about the skin workflow. Now I've gotten the question many times on the forum uh, about how to add a new skin to an already created skeleton. Uh, if you use the Photoshop script, we can already export a skins. Uh, you can use a group in Photoshop to export as a skin. And for example, I could have in Photoshop created this uh, goblin and I could have had the goblin and the goblin girl skin. But what if I want to add a third skin? The way to do that is if I go to my explorer here, you can see I have two folders. I have the goblin, I have the goblin girl, and I've just duplicated the goblin girl folder and created a folder called goblin girl scar. And there's just as one little difference here. So to get that skin into spine, the way I would do that is I would take an already existing skin and I would duplicate that. For this, I'll just take the goblin girl skin and I'll go down here and I'll click duplicate. Now I have another skin, goblin girl 2. I'll rename that. You can call it whatever you want. I could call it something else. I'll just, I'll just use the folder name. You see, I already have the folder here. Now, the way I want to get, you know, I have already this duplicated skin already have the, the same images as the goblin girl skins. You can see there's no changes here. If I go to the goblin, I get the goblin, but I want to have this one active here. So I go out of animate mode and I expand the root. I'm just gonna expand everything. And notice here it says goblin girl with all my attachments. So we have goblin girl, goblin girl, goblin girl, and then we have the image name. Now, what I want to do is I wanna change all of these and the easiest way I find to do that is go up here and I filter. I'm just going to take all the attachments here so we only have those open. Then I will just go and select everything like so. I just select top one, hold on shift, click the bottom one. And I go to find and replace. Now in here, if I remove these. In here, say I select tree selection. And then I look for Goblin Girl. Now I have all the Goblin Girl attachments because I have those selected and I set it to tree selection. And this is important. If I use entire project, see it finds the, the double the amount here. Um, and this is because we already have another skin with uh, the Goblin Girl folder. So I wanna use tree selection. And then I replace this with Goblin Girl scar because this is the name of the folder uh, that I created for the other images. Then I hit replace and you can see over here all these uh, folder names have now been replaced or image uh, the path for the images has now been replaced to goblin girl scar and the images are there again and I now have a third skin. And you could do the same thing for everything, all the skins that you want to create for your own skeleton. Just put all the different uh, images in a separate subfolder. So I hope this video is helpful and bye for now.